When you lose a finger or the whole hand, you will not only miss the possibility to grab things, but also the sense of touch. For the first case, prosthesis can help. And for the second, new research is on the way to create artificial senses. Under the European research projects Nanobiotact and Nanobiotouch, an international and multidisciplinary team of scientists is developing a biomimetic finger that can be directly connected to the central nervous system. The basis for the biomimetic finger is an array of pressure sensors that mimic the spatial resolution, sensitivity, and dynamics of human neural tactile sensors. At the University of Birmingham in England, the team of Dr. Michael Ward is working with nanoscale electromechanical systems. So the sensor is working very much like the sensors do in your own finger. A complex interaction between the fingerprints, the sensors and the surface gives rise to a very rich data set. Before the scientists could develop the biomimetic sensors, they studied the human sense of touch and tested patients with selective deficits, like Mike Payson. I had a brain hemorrhage and it affected my, my left arm. I, my, my left arm is now useless basically. Professor Alan Wing is an expert on human movement and tries to understand how the brain uses sensory inputs. In the case of Mike, we have damage in one part of the brain. The rest of the brain is okay. And so we learn that this part of the brain is very important for touch. And if we know that, then we can develop neural networks which might be able to do the same thing. At the Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna Viale in Pisa, this knowledge was transferred in robotic systems. About 5% of the neural network of information that links the hands to the brain was enough for the team of Dr. Lucia Bacai to create the first artificial finger. Our finger, the human finger, has a series of tactile receptors that allows us to feel our external environment. What we are doing is using technology to integrate a certain number of tactile sensors inside the artificial finger. Right now scientists like Calagero Maria Odo are testing the sensitivity of the artificial finger prototype. So, I'm testing the artificial finger in the tactile simulator. Thanks to our research, this artificial finger is capable of recognizing different surfaces, like this one or this one. And it can differentiate between materials, like this one or this one. Currently, the artificial finger is able to recognize 90% of the surfaces tested. It's composed with the knowledge of neurology, nanotechnology, robotics, and also calls on biotechnology to grow the skin that will cover tomorrow's artificial finger. The results of nanobiotact and nanobiotouch will in the future improve the health and quality of life for many.